Welcome to the overview of Promax Platform Manager software. Platform Manager is designed to control all of the administrative functions of a platform environment. These functions include setting up storage, users, and permissions, and to give facility managers critical information on use and performance of their platform environment. To understand all of these functions, let's take a look at the software. We'll start with storage groups. Storage groups represent RAID sets. In this case, we're looking at a 32 terabyte RAID 6, giving us about 25 terabytes of usable space. As you can see, we have graphical representations of used space and free space, making storage planning easy. Moving on to platform spaces, platform spaces are virtual volumes. These spaces are what users connect to and will read and write their data to. One of the most powerful functions of platform spaces is how dynamic they are. You can grow a volume or shrink a volume on the fly, even if a user has it mounted. Let's take a look at this. Platform space 2 currently has 4 terabytes. 3.46 terabytes are being used. We want to go ahead and grow that to be 6 terabytes. And just like that, that space has grown, and we now have more available space to use. If we've changed our minds and we want to go back and set that to 4 terabytes again, we can update that, and our data is still intact. This enables maximum flexibility and allows you to change your volume structure as needed. Unlike other systems where volume layout is static and any changes can be destructive, all of these changes are non-destructive to your media. Moving on to users. Now, Users has one of my favorite features, and we'll get to that in a minute. It is notable that Platform has full integration with Active Directory. It can exist as a domain controller or as a slave within an existing domain, making it ideal for in enterprise-integrated deployments. Users can easily be added and managed with no Active Directory integration directly from Platform Manager. Let's go ahead and add a new user. We're going to add the user Ben. We're going to assign Ben a password and verify that password. Now just like that, the new user Ben is added to our system. Very simple. Now we can go down to permissions and Ben now has a tab where he's assigned permissions to all of the volumes. These permissions can vary from user to user. For example, if we look at Joe Brown, Joe has been assigned no permissions to see Platform Space 1, so Joe has no access or ability to get to that storage. Now Joe has full read and write permissions to Platform Space 2, and with Bob's content, Joe can read it, but he can't write anything to that. These permissions can be changed as needed based on each user. Going back to users, let's take a look at some of the fun stuff. One of my favorite features that I had mentioned earlier is this max megs a second. Now what this is, is basically bandwidth limitation. So let's say this user Ben is an After Effects artist. Most of the time he requires very little throughput, but once in a while when rendering, he eats up way too much performance from the rest of the system. So Platform Manager allows you as an admin to apply bandwidth limitations to users. So we're going to take Ben and set him to 150 megs a second. We're going to apply those changes. Now even though Ben might be connected via 10 gig and could theoretically get up to 1000 megs a second, Ben's going to be limited to 150 megs a second. This gives us incredible control and the ability to guarantee performance where we need it. This is very powerful stuff. Let's move on to connections. With up to 24 Direct Connect users, Connections allows you to monitor all of your available ports, showing critical information like port speed and IP address. Finally, last but not least, under Performance, Performance gives you current monitoring of CPU usage, storage usage, and specific connection usage. With CPU usage, we have a readout of each of the 24 virtual cores on this platform server. This is specifically useful if you're utilizing modules requiring a great amount of processing power, such as the transcode module. The storage tab shows us total performance over all of the various storage groups. In this case right now, 
we're streaming about 400 megs a second over the entire storage group. Finally, our Connections tab gives us critical information on which users are pulling from the storage, giving us both a readout as well as a graphical representation of what users are pulling from the network. In this case, we can see Billy Bob is the only user currently working. And this, again, allows us to know who's doing what on the system. This concludes the demo of Platform Manager software. To learn more about Platform, visit us at promax.com or email us at sales at promax.com. Thank you very much.